welcome back to Fred in the Shed 2 and as I promised on the last video when I showed you that uh, little Walesco tractor that I build I would be looking at something cheaper and exactly what I'm doing here what we've got in this box here is a Stirling engine kit which is kind of like a steam engine works in a slightly different sort of principle doesn't use steam as such but yeah this this came from China and this was about 20 pounds delivered so as I said it was about less than a tenth of the price and I'm going to be putting it together in this video and uh, have a look at the kit itself so it took about three weeks to arrive everything seems to be okay from what I can see all the uh, components there everything seems to be packed quite nicely in its own little bag can't really moan at that I assume that's the oh it looks like you get allen keys as well so it looks like they get, yeah they're giving you tools to assemble it which is always you know it's always good not, not everyone has got a set of tools oh, okay this is the obviously the piston arrangement there. it looks like it's got a sort of a brass in a sleeve there for the piston so this is sort of machine cast um you know people call this like pot metal i, I call it die cast it's very much like used to get you know your dinky cars made of um, back in the day but it seems quite good this is the base plate obviously and uh, yeah it doesn't seem bad seems quite uh, quite solid so a quick look at the flywheel yeah once again that's uh, that's got a brass insert there I don't know how you're gonna see if you can see that but that's got a sort of a brass sort of insert with a little uh, imagine that's like a little grub no it's like a, is that for a bearing or grub screw not quite sure there so anyway yeah so as, as always I'm gonna be um, putting this together let's have a quick look at the instruction I've not even looked at this myself I've had this sitting around for a long time it's getting a little bit behind on my projects unfortunately but the winter's coming now so I should have a bit more indoor time so uh, yeah there you go this is what it makes it's very simple this little sterling engine but it does seem quite nicely made in fact mine seems to be better finished than the actual drawing which is unusual so there we go that's all right. There we go. So we've got it's all in. Uh, looks like it's all in Chinese. But obviously we're just going to follow the instructions, pictures wise. We <laughs> anyone really should be able to work from pictures. It's always nice to get sort of pictures. Oh, there's the British. No, it's got English as well. Sorry, I'll take that back. My apologies. Oh, that's pretty good actually. Yeah, twenty UK pounds. So there you go. That's the instructions I'm going to follow, and I'll put it together, and then I'll, I'll zoom it all up really, really quick, so you haven't got to watch it in real time and get completely bored and everything like that and uh, yeah there we go so i'm gonna crack i'm gonna crack on with this i'll find you some youtube copyright free music for your enjoyment yeah i know that's the best i can do but i'm gonna get on and uh, zip this together and you're gonna watch it in high speed so i'll catch you in a second right straight into this before i really really get started this is quite impressive. I'm going to zoom in. This, these are the sort of bearings that run through the drive shaft for the flywheel. And I'm going to try and zoom in here without losing it. And I'm not 100% sure. I'm losing focus here. I knew I'd do that. Sorry. I'm not 100% sure, but these look like, well, these look like ball bearing races to me. Let me just put that drive shaft in. you see that these do look like real bearings I mean if, if so that is better than you get on the Mamod and the Walesco <laughs> models you don't get you just get kind of solid bearings not even white metal bearings but brass bearings but that feels like a bearing so I don't know it looks like you've got two little very small kind of ball bearings for the main shaft that is impressive I mean for this for this money 20 pounds that is incredibly impressive. I just thought that would just be a solid, you know, bearing. If it, I was lucky, if it was going to be a brass bearing that you'd oil. So yeah, well, so far I'm impressed. Right, let me get on with a proper build. Sorry to hold everything up. Right, just gonna stop the music for a second here I, I like to show you little things that I find a little bit strange with these models so I'm just starting to put the flywheel onto the drive shaft 
and you've got a little grub screw there which you can sort of see now you'd expect that wouldn't you as it came through the flywheel you would expect that to sort of go through the center and then lock onto the spindle shaft but i don't know if i can get a focus on that i'll struggle but it doesn't actually protrude out of the middle of that sort of brass bearing if you like um, which I thought was a bearing, but obviously it's fixed. But it's a bit odd because there's no way for the grub screw to come through. So I don't know, it seems it just goes really, really tight. And uh, I don't know if you're supposed to screw it and screw it and force this to sort of collapse almost onto the shaft. I find that a little bit odd. I thought that would just be drilled through, um, but obviously not. So yeah okay you're gonna crack on with that but i just thought i'd show you that because i thought that was just a little bit odd to be honest well i've done that grub screw up as hard as it will go with i mean i'm bearing in mind i don't want to break the allen key but that still isn't locking because it's not going to is there because there's no hole in it so that's, that's a bit odd isn't it i'm finding that a little bit odd to be honest i can uh I can try and try, tighten up a bit more, but I've got to keep these two pinions here 90 degrees apart. I'll give it a bit more of a turn. But yeah, I find that a bit odd. Oh, there you go, it's a bit more. Uh, it's, still, it's still loose. Try it, try it a little bit more, I guess. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. I don't know why they did that. It's a shame because everything else looks really, really good on this kit. The fact this has bearings is amazing, but I'm not sure why they did that. That doesn't really make any sense to me. If they if they just drilled that through, I mean, I could drill it through, I suppose, but I'd have to, I'd have to be careful that I didn't catch the uh, the threads. They should have drilled it through before they tapped it. So I'm just really going to have to sort of put a lot of pressure on this. Okay, all right. Well, it's tight now, but yeah, not all that keen on that bit. Anyway, right, let's just crack on. That's it, the construction's complete. That took, I don't know, about 20 minutes, half an hour. That's with me stopping. And uh, it's, it, you seem to get quite a lot of spare parts as well. They, like, they give you quite a few of these little grub screws and even like a little, uh, it's like a little pinion thing there, which is a little bit worrying. <laughs> it's, all, it's always worrying when you get sort of spare parts left over, isn't it? It's if, like if you do a car or something, you don't want to see a load of spare parts. But I think that is true. I used their tools throughout because I just couldn't be bothered to go into the garage and get my own. And you know what? They didn't round off or anything. And I tell you what, you know, for £20, I'm impressed by this. I mean, I don't know if it's going to run, of course. <laughs> but the way this is constructed, especially with the bearings there, in the uh, on the flywheel, I'm going to uh, make, I'm going to oil everything. It doesn't say to sort of oil everything, but I'm quite impressed. I actually really am quite impressed. This is quite a nicely sort of uh, made kit for once, you know, from sort of China. And uh, yeah, the only thing, as I say, right at the beginning, I was a bit, but you know, a bit about not so happy about having to crush that sort of uh, brass insert. That was a little bit bodgy, really, in my opinion. I could have done better with that. But anyway, so I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to oil everything up, make sure everything is oiled, and there's the little fill hole for the fuel. Now I've probably got some methylated spirits 
um, to fill that up with. It's very, very small. I suppose that's for safety. It does give you a little bottle here, but I suppose you've got to squeeze it in with that, I guess. Probably, I might just undo it and put it in. So yeah, I've got methylated spirits that I could use, or I've also got some um, rubbing alcohol, which is anything that really burns kind of nice and clear. You don't really want this to get all sort of sooty. And uh, yeah, heat up this cylinder, and that's the hot cylinder, that's the cold cylinder, the Stirling engine. We should get a bit of a vacuum, and that should suck the piston in. And uh, yeah, get it to run. These normally run really, really well. So yeah, very impressed with that. And uh, anyway, let's uh, let's get it run then. Let's see if it actually works. Let's put let's put my money where my mouth is. Yeah, I know. I've got a lot of mouth, anyway. But let's see if it runs. Okay, I filled up the little tank. It didn't take a lot of mess. I'm going to try and light it now for the first time. There we go, that's off. And uh, yeah, let it build up some uh, vacuum. And then we'll try and run it. These normally run really, really fast. Certainly burning well. So this cylinder has to get really, really hot. And then there's a difference engine. So this will be the cold cylinder, hot cylinder. And there'll be a vacuum across the two pistons, which should give us a little bit of drive on that flywheel. Right, shall we see if that's enough? Should we give it, try and give it a run? Wow, look at that! <laughs> that's really nice! That is running really, really smooth. Building up speed now as well. I'll shut up for a minute. Make a change, won't it? That is impressive. And there we go, that's really starting to pick up speed now. That is running really nice. Those bearings make all the difference. I'm impressed with that for 20 crowns. There we go, so just turn the heat off now. So that will very slowly sort of wind itself down. That is lovely, that is really, really nice. I'm really impressed. I'm gonna recommend that. That's gonna get a thumb and thread in the shed, thumbs up, no problem. And there you go. It's not that hot either, I can actually touch it and not burn myself, which makes a change. So that, yeah, I'm impressed with that. Absolutely, totally impressed. So there you go. So, to zoom out a little bit. So this little thing from China there, um, 20 pounds. I will leave a link in the description. I would suggest that if you um, wanna have a little bit of fun and build one of these, it wasn't that difficult to build, then I'd suggest you get on and order one now while they're still in stock because yeah, I'm really surprised how well that run for something that was, you know, to be honest, so cheap. And it, as I say, it looks better than it does in the pictures. So yeah, there you go. There you go. That's a little uh, sort of Chinese Sterling engine with a proper bearing on the flywheel there. And uh, yeah, it seems to have a stainless kind of uh, burner sort of cap for the uh, piston. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm blown away. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that build on Fred in the Shed 2. As always, you know, thanks for your view, Tom. I don't get a lot of views on here. And uh, yeah, leave a comment. You know, what you see, tell me what you think of it. And uh, let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll try and answer all the comments that I can. And uh, if you've enjoyed the video, give it the old thumbs up. That helps me on this channel. 
not again, I say it's not not that many subscribers really on here. But I'd like to say cheers, thank you, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that. I really did enjoy building that. Really thoroughly uh, impressed with that. And uh, yeah, cheers. You know, and stay safe. Look after yourselves. And uh, yeah, look out for the next one. And I'll catch you on the next one. But as for now, cheers, fellas and gat ladies. Catch you on the next one. <laughs> oh, she's driving me nuts. Oh, come on. This will all be cut out in the editing. Oh, it's tough as. Lost it, no. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. Really fiddly this bit. God, je oh jeez, man. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh. How many times? Not quite at the walk away and go for a cup of tea yet, but we're getting a little bit close. Come on, this time. Oh, jeez, man. Oh dear. And I've got quite small fingers as well. It's not like I've got chunky fingers, but okay. It's this little tiny piece of pipe. Oh. It's getting a little bit frustrating, a little bit frustrating. Oh, for the joy of editing. Come on, this time. Yeah, oh, it sprung off. It half went on and then it sprung off. Come on, come on, little more, little more, come on, there's the baby, it's on, yippee, <laughs> yippee, okay, right, we'll cut all that out of the video, no, no one wants to see that, <laughs> no one wants to see that.